Welcome. I am here to help you to understand how to fix HTTP2 protocol error. So uh, while editing my Elementor page, I am getting this error and I try to see the solution, but it does not work. So I try to do more research on this and I find a better solution. So you can also implement on, on your website and see if that works for you. So there are, there are may, maybe a chances when you go to your WordPress dashboard, you may see some error and redirecting to like mm, that page can't be reached. So I, in my case, I, I try to edit my home page, but uh, when I click on edit with Elementor, it's redirecting to a can't reach page. So in order to fix this, you need to edit your HTXS file. And in, in order to that, do that, you, you have to, you, you should have the access of your C panel, or if not, you can do some manual task. First, in order to check the edit that file, you need to go to add plugins. Or if you know how to edit the HTXS file, then it will, that it is good to go. And if not, I, I'm providing the temporary solution to edit that particular file. So first you need to search for file manager. <clears throat> and you need to click uh, install advanced file manager. Now go to file manager, which you have installed. Now you need to search for ST access file. So this is my files, which, which I am like, this is my WordPress file. So I see there is no ST access file. If in case you may see the file will be here only. If you don't see the files, you, you need to add one more plugin and you, you can install file, file manager, uh, like install the file manager plugin and then go to add plugins. Write down HT access editor. So now you, you need to install this particular plugin, which is provided by Web Factory Limited. And you see, I still I am still getting this error. So I am just providing the solution and it will work for you. Now you need to go to your STXS editor. You need to click on I understand, enable this. So I already have some codes. So what do you need to do? You, you just before one line, just click enter and now paste this particular code. save. So after saving this, you, you can just go to the page which you want to see and reload this and see it's working. So hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, you can feel free to comment below if you still face any issue. I will, I will surely help you and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.